Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome. It is Tuesday night. We are going to do some thrifting tonight. That's what we do here. I live a thrifted life. So if that's something that you enjoy, stick around. Uh, we're going to go thrifting. Today we are thrifting in Hartville, Ohio. And I am with my friend Cindy and her friend, my new friend, Laura. We met Laura at the Hartville Marketplace. So Hartville, Ohio is kind of famous for its flea market. It has had a big flea market there for many, 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 many years. Um, they moved that flea market into a really big building. And that big building now has a bunch of kind of retail spaces. It's not so much flea market as it is kind of higher end-ish things. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of that indoor area. Actually, the second floor, we discovered a vintage market and a really nice one. So I'm going to spotlight that one. If you do go, please plan to go in the summertime where they have the flea market outside in the parking lot. It's worth your time to go there because not only do they have flea market set up, but they have really good produce set up kind of outside but near the buildings. And that's what I do in the summer times is I get my little granny rolling cart and I fill it full of produce um, and it's awesome. So that's where we're gonna be. We're gonna start there at the Hartville uh, Market place. And then I'm gonna take you over to the Hartville Thrift Store and we are gonna do some thrifting there. So that's today. We're gonna to be in Hartville again on Thursday because Cindy and I are gonna take you to a really unique antique mall. It's in a plaza, but it looks like you're stepping back in time. It is very nice. And then we're gonna to go to a place called Love Our Community, L-O-C. And it's become probably my favorite place that I've visited uh, recently. I found some incredible things. One of them is sticking up over here. <laughs> so you'll have to wait till Thursday to see that. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go check out Hartville, Ohio and see how thrifting is in that town. Let's go. So is this part of the same little shop or is this a different shop? This is I think different. Like little different yeah. Look at how cute it is in here. And the prices are pretty good. Look at what somebody did to this old singer. Look at how pretty that is. $2.50. I have a, a vanity just like this. It's not, it's straight across. It doesn't have the little groove in it, but it has the big round mirror. No, the poles are amazing. Is that Bakelite in there? Probably. Yeah, it's really nicely done in here too. And we're avoiding some weather right now. It's like thunderstorming out there. Got some nice little chandeliers. Now those, I don't, are those old? Yeah, that's got age, yep. Yep, definitely. 275. Is that Sirocco? I love that too. I grab it every time I see it. It doesn't have a price on it though, so I'm going to see if it's worth it. So, out of this whole market, this is probably my favorite thing that we've seen. It used to be a lot of like older things. There's a shop right next to this that it has a mixture of old and new. I mean, there's some newer stuff in here too. Like, you know, this little tree here is new, but it's just kind of adding to the decor of what she has that's old. Um, and you would know that that's not old, but the place next door, some of the stuff was like really mean to look old. She just has a nice curated collection of old. This table is really neat. And see, this is old, but somebody has redone the top, like decoupage the top. And I love that. I think that's great to repurpose. And hear the thunder. Can you see this wedding dress right here? Oh my that gosh, cute? that's really neat. It's awesome how she has things displayed in here too. It's really well done. Look at that dresser out there. Wow. It's something about the front of those with the waves yeah. that I just love. Yeah, she does a this really nice job here. displaying. Like, what do you call these? Oh, I love that. It's I like love a man's that. Dressing That's an Eastlake style. Yes, I love that. 
what's on that 575 that's so really good yeah the all the are poles good here. all the poles are there oh man that's neat i love that Woo! <laughs> we might have a power outage <laughs> right when he was saying when the land is dark <laughs> look at the carving in the top of that wow that's so pretty and this green painted green case here with the oh my gosh look at the china in there it's like it was meant to go in there with the green wow this one's called heart of helene i think this is my favorite uh, yeah the primitives so we have kind of wrapped around this other corner so we're in the opposite corner of where we were up in that pretty booth and we're seeing some some nice stuff some repop stuff um but nicely displayed nice quilt that's a quilt so yeah it's an old one yeah really cute i like, I like the yeah i like the colors too i like They're that nice pink and, and green there's some blood on there for you it smells a little bit too. It smells. Yeah, perfect. Mm. Perfect. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> As you can see, there was a lot of cool vintage things. The prices were not flipping reselling prices, which is understandable. Um, the flea market is a good place for that though. I can't wait. The first big flea market is Memorial Day weekend. So actually I'm gonna link their website down below and you can check them out. They also do these night fleas where it's like a 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Friday night um, get together. Uh, I can't wait to go check out one of those too. Definitely more fun than the indoor market, which has some nice things. It's just like I said, more of a retail environment. All right, let's now go over to the Hartville Thrift. This is a huge place that used to be the Hartville Hardware. And that company built a new building and moved. And this is now a really large, nice thrift shop. Let's go check it out. We have made it over to the Hartville Thrift Shop, and if you can hear, it is really windy. But guess what? We have some blue skies now. It's like the clouds opened up for us when we had to leave the other place. Let's go see what they have in here. But we came into the hard goods section, and there's some carts out here. Oh, here's an M for Miller. I saw these up here. Do you need blue bow goose? Um, yes. There's two of them. Good. There's there's one with a bonnet and there's one sans bonnet and they're 30 cents each it's a deal what you didn't see me grab off of that cart um, because i think i started rolling after was this really nice rose quartz and jade little maybe dogwood I'm not sure. It's got more petals than a dogwood. Cherry blossom? I don't know. Some kind of flower uh, tree here. It's in a little potted planter and it was $1. And that's pretty wonderful because these do pretty good. I don't know about these miniature ones. I'll have to check on eBay. And of course, I'm gonna share any information on screen with you. Um, but yeah, it might go over to eBay if that makes sense, or maybe I'll sell it here in an upcoming sale. It is absolutely beautiful though. Look at all the details. Pretty stunning. I feel like I might have to send a video to Yvonne. What critters does she not have? There's a lion here that's really lines. neat. Oh, there's a Scotty. You got the Scotty, he's cute. And these are all 30 cents a piece. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> He's really cool. Look at this guy. Well, I think there's oh my gosh. Like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. yeah. Look at that guy. <gasps> Stop it. Oh. What was the scent? Does it say on the bottom? Are you Probably skunk delicious. This one was sweet honesty, which is like... I think so we get ones above. This one is sweet honesty too. Oh yeah, definitely. Look at how cute he is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this angel. <laughs> That's Holy cute, too. It's the eyes closed thing. Look at that little angel. How cute Oh, wait. Is. I found... Look. Your bride didn't have her veil. That bride does. Oh, my God. 
That's a candle. It's a candle. It's broken. Oh, that's not good. Here's a bunch of little turtles with a little little turtles. Derpy faces. They're not as cute. No. I'm sorry, turtle. Oh, here's the dog pipe. <laughs> the old dog pipe. Yeah, these are all marked 30 cents. They know. They'll get rid of them for 30 cents. You know, they will. There's a chicken on a basket. What is this? Did we know that Avon did a chicken on a basket? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's damaged. Somebody will rescue you. I didn't even know Avon did a hen on a nest. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Somebody's entire collection. Oh, look at them. Sonic cologne. All right, we might have to get him with our skunk. That collection of Avon bottles was huge. They're just not worth anything. They, you can't really sell them on eBay. They just don't have, you know, much value. There were so many of them made and they were made to collect. So, so many people have them. <laughs> These though, I could not pass up. And I'm going to ask Yvonne if she has these because our friend Yvonne, Thrifty Rich, she has been putting away these little critters. And so I'm going to just ask her. But for 30 cents a piece, that was a pretty good deal. I'll get that little bird. He's funny. It's like they did better on some with the plastic heads than they did on others. Look at the faucets. Oh my gosh, what is that pig down there? He's a pitcher and he pours out of his mouth and he's $5. What? Somebody hide him down there? Made in China. How funny. How funny is he? He's very tempting. I'm gonna put him in my cart and think about him. Do you think somebody was squirreling him away down on that bottom shelf there? Maybe not a lot of people would have gone back there, especially people who weren't interested in looking at all those Avon bottles. But lucky for me, I looked down and he was <laughs> looking up at me with that face. How? Oh. <laughs> if you watch me, you know, I kind of have a thing about these kind of figural pitchers and creamers and things. There's just something funny to me about pouring something out of a mouth. <laughs> I just love it. And what a great color and a great shape. Nice, big, solid piece. I cannot find him anywhere. Um, if you know who makes home, let me know. I thought maybe it was like a Walmart brand or a Target brand, but I'm not getting anything on him. No hits on Google Lens. Um, no hits when I just search keywords, you know, orange pitcher, pig pitcher, uh, nothing. I didn't run into him. So I don't know what that means. I think he's probably going to go over to my whimsical booth because he's whimsical. <laughs> he's a big orange pig pitcher and I paid five dollars for him but I imagine I can probably do between 20 and maybe 24 for him over there. Somebody who collects pigs is gonna want this guy because he's just awesome. There's some precious moments over here. What are these guys? She's cute. Island, Inesco. Yeah, those are cute, those Inesco ones. They're all $4 each. And the Precious Moments are $4 each too. This place is really large. And this says Christmas shop up here and there's all kinds of seasonal stuff in there. See pottery over here. It's not great pottery. 
<laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like you put your fingers there. You do? Well, that's what I think. And this side has, well, one side kind of has like a pour. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not a fan of the exterior design. Oh, you're not? I thought you would love that. Yeah, look at this guy. He's cute. He's really cute. He's. I'm thinking about him. He's very substantial too. Yeah, and he pours out of his mouth. You know I love that. That's probably a good pickup. I'm thinking he might be. So you can see this used to be like a greenhouse type of um, section of the original Hartville um, hardware. It's a nice big crush down there. We got some Thanksgiving stuff and some sugar fruit. And then we got some tacky Christmas, which we love. You didn't find any good tacky Christmas? No. Cindy's already been through here, so she would have found it. This is kind of nice, a little pink. They painted the pine cones and they used pink. Oh, there's a cute little Santa in here. He is glued to that branch. Now we have Easter. So the wind, that's the wind outside, is opening up these things, shaking the building. There's more Christmas stuff over here, but I just, I'm not feeling it. Christmas stuff. What are these? I see some hand painted pieces in here. Oh my gosh, are those little gazelles? Those are adorable. Those little made in India. How many are in there? Four. How much is this guy? They're a dollar. I would get them just for those red ones, I think. All right, I'll think about them. I always joke that I need to stay away from the napkin rings and the sugar and creamers. I always pick them up. These are really great, though. They are like a mid-century stylistic gazelle and they have little stickers on the inside that say made in india and you can tell by the look of them that they are older i really like them so we have those which is the whole reason why i picked it up for a buck but there were also five of these kind of avocado green looks like they're about the same age probably 60s 70s and they're a nice color five is an odd number but I'll probably put all five together and sell them over at the booth. And last, there were six of these hand-painted kind of country houses, I guess. There's a lot of windows in that. Are they school houses? What are they? They're not my cup of tea. They're more of that kind of 80s, early 90s country feeling. But I think that they'll definitely spike somebody's interest. The fact that they're all hand-painted, that's pretty great. <laughs> Is she sewing his pants while he's wearing them? <laughs> what the heck is going on there? <laughs> I know, but he's cute. We'll think about it. These are neat. These berries. Did you yeah. Those? That's get those. Yeah. These older primitive cranberries, this is like a cranberry garland, do pretty well um, over on eBay. So I think that's where they're going to go. They come in somewhere between nine or 10 feet lengths, and there are five of them kind of hooked together in this group. So that's somewhere between like 45 and 50 feet, which is great. I'll share with you here some of the comps I'm seeing for similar size pieces, but I think that's probably where it's gonna go. And maybe I'll hold on to it and uh, put it up there a little bit closer to uh, that time of the year. Cindy pulled this little tray off of that cart and it's a nice one. I love the colors in it. It's nice and clean. It's got a little bit of wear here. It's definitely had some use, um, but no dents or anything major. And again, 30 cents. 
How can you not for 30 cents? Oh, I got some electronics back here. And then we enter an area that my mom would like because I think it's all crafts in here. What's that back there? Somebody's project? The sailboat that they didn't finish. 1982, the Creative Circle. Another unfinished. Joined in holy marriage. Maybe not. Maybe they changed their minds. Yeah, look at all this fabric back here for crafters and quilters. things. I wonder if Cindy got back here. It's kind of open and coming out. A little bit of everything. So back here is an entire space that's full of furniture and things. Got some bigger electronics and some bicycles. And this is a space that I was unaware of. Maybe it wasn't open back here the last time I was here. It just looks like a restore back here. Paints and everything. Doors and screens and... How cool, I didn't know. Penetrating stain. This is like all books now, huh? A whole thing about collecting. Antiques on the cheap, yes, we like that. Antiques on the cheap. The care of antiques. Antiques England. Ooh, they, stuff over there. they do. They like originated stuff, you know. Well, their stuff is like way, way old. Yeah. Our stuff is, our, our stuff is yeah. not old at all. The antique book. That's pretty rough shape. What are the books? $2 for the hardbacks and a dollar for the paperbacks. I only like it if it has colorful pictures. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> no colorful pictures in that one. Antiques Roadshow. I love that show. I do too. Okay, so I like this. I might scoop this. This would be this would be fun to Yeah, me. You could take me. The Connoisseur's Guide to Christie's Teapots. Oh wow. That's cool. Alright, we might have to have that one. What is this? Depression glass. I have a lot of depression glass books. kind of a nice one but I have a bunch of those Jim Beam bottles oh that's fun too so that would be a dollar it's kind of fun China half figures pin cushion dolls oh that's cool I might make an exception for non-colorful for a pincushion doll book. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. I very like niche. It. Yes, I like it. That book room is amazing. This has been so much fun to look through. It is the Antiques Roadshow Primer, but talk about really good information all condensed in one place. I was looking just the other day at furniture. And I don't know a lot about furniture, um, but this book, look at this. It tells you based on legs, feet, different designs, you know, what the era and what the style is 
of certain pieces. So if I found a chair, I could just kind of reference maybe the feet and say, oh, that's a Chippendale. And that's basically what the dates are that that style was made. Now you gotta know a little bit more. <laughs> you gotta be able to look at wood and see if there's marks and stuff because you know, all of these beautiful things at some point, even, you know, up until now get reproduced. So there's, you know, beautiful throwback pieces that are being made throughout history. But it's nice too to know what to call them. And then if you find something, you're going to resell it um, in a booth or, you know, maybe locally, you can have the right language to put on it. And that's fantastic. So this is a really nice one. I would highly recommend it if you see it out to pick it up. And you saw I grabbed a couple other books for my library because I have a nice reference uh, book library. Most of it is up in here. And I'm always looking for new books to put in there. This was my favorite of the book pickups on this day. Gosh, that's yeah, so cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, it's gorgeous. What are you worried about? I'm, I don't know if I'll, because it's more boho than I usually. She's more shabby chic. Oh. Yeah. Not even really. No. I'm more like old lady. Granny chic. That's beautiful. But I'll, I'll use it. It'll be cute for spring. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. Hot rolls. Yeah. What? Isn't that adorable? That's adorable. How much is that one? A dollar? A dollar, yep. Wow. And nice. And she got a little gold bracelet. And this. And, oh, that's the Avon mm -hmm. lamb. Nice, nice, nice. And that is it. That is our kind of first half of this Hartville, Ohio experience. Now, again, on Thursday, I'll be back with Cindy to check out that antique mall. And then we're going to go to my new favorite place called Love of Community. And I can't wait to share that with you. It's a wonderful place. So until Thursday, just have to wait. <laughs> but I will see you on Thursday. And until then, please take care of yourself. I'll see you then. Bye!